Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. In this week we're going to take a look at the wiki service that's built into OS X server. Now, the wiki service is basically a built-in website, and what it does is enhance the website that comes with the website service that we covered in our previous screencast. And so the wiki service allows you to set up your own personal wiki, uh, which for many users would be fine for an internal website at home. Uh, it could be used really well to teach your kids about using websites and those sorts of things, and it could be used in businesses as well uh, for collaboration and uh, sharing things over uh, a web interface. So what I'm going to do is show you how to set up the wiki service and then we'll take a look at what it looks like once we get it set up. So here we are inside the wiki service. As you can see, I haven't started the service yet and you can see the status is offline so it's not up and ready to go. Uh, like all of the services, I can set the permissions on who can create wikis. Again, if I just click on edit, uh, I can choose only some users being able to uh, do some of the work on the wiki or all users can start a wiki. Uh, I'm just going to leave it for all users right now, but if you wanted to limit it to certain people who could start it so that you don't have to worry about it, you could do that in here and that would add to your uh, permissions and your security. I'm just going to cancel that. Now one of the things you see here is WebDAV and you see an enable WebDAV access to wiki files. Now as we covered earlier when we talked about file sharing, uh, WebDAV is the service that's used to be able to share uh, various files and things with iOS devices and so that's the primary way to do that. When you set up your wiki you'll be able to share files on it and so if you enable this WebDAV access it'll allow you to get access to those files on your iOS devices. So I highly recommend just checking that because it does add the ability to do it. If for some reason you don't want people to have access on those devices you can un un uncheck that but uh, it always comes in handy to be able to leave it on. So I'm going to go ahead and start the service right now and so we're going ahead and starting it. It's loading the service up and configuring it and you can see now it's available at this website and you notice we've got this little uh, link down below that allows us to actually view the wiki. So let's go ahead and click on that to see what we just set up. And so now it's going to load uh, my wiki for the first time and you'll notice that now it gives me a different web page. And you can see that I've got uh, you know, a, a different splash page than I had before I set up the wiki where I had the generic website. And it allows me to have access to the various things. Now you'll notice down here I've got um, some links that come from what I saw before. So when I showed you in the website screencast what it looks like, we had big buttons for these things. Now they just become a part of our wiki uh, interface. So what I thought I'd do is let's just start by taking a tour of this a little bit so you get an idea for what you just set up in this website. And I just want to let you know all of these things are customizable and I can show you how to do that uh, in a little bit. Now let's just start down below. Down below we have a shortcut to Profile Manager which will take us over to uh, the actual Profile Manager interface. Uh, we have the ability to change uh, passwords here and if I just uh, click on that for instance you can see that changing passwords was turned off so I've got to turn it on inside uh, the application itself. Let me just go back. Let me just uh, pop this uh, screen down here. Now in order to allow the change password to happen you have to go into the website service right here and then you want to go to the SSL site and just double click on that and you want to check this allow users to change their passwords option right here. And We're going to say OK and it's going to go ahead and load that and offer that as an option. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm just going to put this back on Wiki. Uh, let me just put the page back up here and we'll reload the page. So we've got that. Now when we say change password, it gives me this change password prompt where I can put my old password and then my new password and do it from there. Uh, I'm not going to do that because everything's okay. I'm just going to go back. Now the other thing you have is a calendar option right here uh, that you can access and so this is a web calendar that you can share between your various users uh, where it'll get uh, the various events from your server and so it allows you to have an online calendar uh, that's a shared calendar for those purposes right you can see this is a calendar for myself. I can go in and change some of the settings on it if I want to just a few little things add delegates and stuff like that. Um, again, it just allows me to kind of look at, at my, uh, my information here on that calendar. And then down here I can log out or go back to the wiki. I'm just going to hit the back arrow just to go back. All right, so that gives you an idea of these things at the bottom that now show up that you can use with the wiki interface. Now you'll also notice in the middle here I have a My Documents, All Activity, People, and Wikis. And these are all links that I can click uh, here to get where I want to get. 
Um, but you'll also notice up here, I've got this little hamburger menu up here. If I just click on that, you'll see that I can also get access to these same things over here on the side and uh, change my password and web calendar. It all comes up in the side menu as well. So I've got the option to use uh, either one depending on how I want to navigate my website. Let me just click off of that. Now one thing I want to point out is all of this information here is customizable. You can change it if you want to. Uh, for instance, if I just hit this little pencil up here, all of a sudden I get an editing menu bar up here. And you'll notice that now I can highlight text and I can change it. Uh, I can say welcome to, let's say, uh, my server. Right, So I say that on there, and so now I've changed that. And you'll notice if I hover over this, I've got a bar now that has icons that I can actually delete if I want to. Uh, I can resize uh, the distance between this if I want to see how the words kind of form around that, if I want to do that. And this is kind of a basic editing bar that allows me to lay out text. If I were just to click uh, on the ends here, you can see I can just kind of move them. And you can see I can, assort, I can sort ascending, descending, column before, delete a column. So again, it works kind of like a spreadsheet. If I click this X, it deletes everything that's in here. And then, of course, all of this text is customizable as well. And you can see up here I've got table settings. Uh, if I wanted to alternate row colors or show the grid lines if I wanted to, and I could update it, and I'm just going to leave that alone. Um, so I can change the text in here. And you'll notice I've got things like attachments. So I can upload a file if I wanted to upload a file in here to add uh, maybe a graphic. Uh, I could also do some work by adding a new table if I wanted to do that to the page. I could add an HTML snippet if I had an HTML snippet that I wanted to add on there. Um, and then I can do some things with formatting and, and the style options uh, just like I would in any text editor. Uh, I, can, I can link to a new page uh, from one of these things if I wanted to do that. And then I've got all my, all my basic text editing stuff in here with lists and all of that. So it does allow me to do some things. And if I just say save, then you notice that now it says welcome to my server instead of welcome to server. Um, so it does give me options to be able to do some edits there. Uh, you'll notice here with the little uh, plus button, if I were to click that, I can do a new page in my documents or upload a file to my documents or do a new wiki if I wanted to start that. And then inside here with this little gear, uh, I can do uh, my user settings. And if I want to, each user can have their own blog if you want them to have that. If you just check this blog button, it's going to add a blog now. And then I can do uh, some basic things with appearance. I can upload icons. I can change the color scheme. If I don't like this sort of light blue, maybe I like a darker blue, I can change that. I can put in my own custom banner. Uh, as long as the height's 124 pixels, and that'll change a banner across the top of my site. And I can change it to a different custom background as well. I'm just going to say Save. And so there we go. I've saved it. Now it's going to change the background colors when I go to the pages that I'm going to show you here in a minute. So let's go ahead and go to um, the All Activity page. I'm just going to click on that. And you see now it's a little bit of a darker blue since I changed the color. And you see I've got no activity right now, but I can see everything or unread or my favorites if I were to mark things that way um, and get, get them uh, from there. Again, if I click the plus, uh, now I've got new blog post in my blog if I wanted to do that or a new wiki. And again, here I've got the same settings that are on this page. Uh, so let's go over here and let's go to uh, my documents for a minute. And you can see here, here are my different documents. Now the page is dark blue across the top up here. And I've got the option of going home. I've got my activity, my documents, my tags, and my blog. Uh, and you can see here that I've got uh, this uh, Todd Oltoff here. And basically what this does is it starts uh, my first uh, documents page here. And so I can use this to edit pages to share information about myself. And if I wanted to, I could even put in tags in here. If I wanted to add a tag, I could say, uh, you know, uh, let's say first post. Let's say I wanted that to be a tag. And so you can see that adds that there. I can always delete it if I want to or just click that and save it. And so now I've got that tag on there. Uh, I can look at related um, pages, too. And so I can actually uh, link to certain related pages. And that's how a wiki works, that when you look at one page, you can see all the other pages that are there. Uh, so I can add that. I can put comments in here. And so if I wanted to add a comment, I could say, great post, and uh, basically save that. And so now my comment's on there, and other people can comment as well and uh, show it for each post that I've got. I've got some notifications. I can say, hey, notify me when the document's updated or when a comment's added. Uh, I can see the history on here, and you can see I've got history uh, from before of accessing this page. And then I can share it with somebody. I can share with, and I can say, edit. And then I can pick which users I want to have access. I can say all logged in users have no access or read only or read and write to allow them to access it. 
Uh, and I can do that for logged in or unauthenticated users. And then I can have send email notifications to new members if I wanted to. And I could type in a group name if I wanted to type kids in here. Now you can see there's my kids group name. And that's added here. And I can say they've got read-only access. And I can say OK. And so now that's shared with them so that they're able to actually access it if they, if they want to. So that gives you kind of an idea of how these little uh, comments things and all this works on the side here. Let me just close all of these. Uh, but that's for documents, and I can add any documents I want to in here. And you see now if I go to activity, you can see that now my activity is there, and I posted a comment that says great post, and I got one more update. And then I can mark it as red if I want to. And I can go to the tag page, and so I've got tags, and it'll be by alpha alphabetical. Uh, as I add different tags in here, it'll show that. And then, like I said, I've got a blog over here, and I can add blog posts. And so if I say, uh, you know, new blog posts in my blog, I can title this my first post, say add, and then it takes me to this page that allows me to edit it. And just say welcome to my blog. So it's a very basic blog, allows you to add some things to it. Um, like I said, you can use all the edit features up here if you want to upload photos and different things like that, you can add them into your blog. And uh, then when you're done, you just say save, and now that's my new blog post. And I've got all the same things over here. Uh, now, if I go back to activity, now I've got two things. There's my blog post, and there's my original uh, document that was added when I started uh, the actual blog. So as you can see, it gives you, you know, just some options to be able to set these things up. Uh, I can also set up to email me uh, to notify me when anything has changed. Um, so anyway, so that's how that works. Now if I want to do a new wiki, I can add that. And I can say a wiki about, let's say I do one about OS 10 server. And I can say updates to server software, for instance. Let's say that's what my wiki is about. I can add that. I can say who can have access. And I can say logged in, can, users can read and write. And so we're going to continue that. I can choose a different color. Let's say I want this one to be gray. I can even upload an icon. I'm going to say create. And then I can go to that wiki. And so you can see gray. It says OS 10 server. And now I've got my wiki set up. And it's literally a separate uh, setup here with its own activity page, its own documents area where you can add documents, and its own tags area where you can add tags. And so it gives me the option now of coming into that information if I want to. And I can go back to the wiki's main area, and this will show all my different wikis. And if I hit the uh, there, you can see it has the description, updates to server software like I typed in. And so I can click off of that. And if I put a favorite there, then it will also show up in my favorites area and then also shows me deleted ones. So it kind of gives you an idea of how this works. Again, it's not super fancy or anything, but uh, it will allow you to get some things done and actually let you use uh, the website the way that you want to use it. If I uh, just come down here to All People, uh, again, it shows uh, just myself because I'm the only one that's actually uh, done any work with this wiki, but all your other users would show up here as well, and then you could access their blogs and their wikis and whatever other things that you give them access to. So that gives you an idea of how the wiki service works. Like I said, for some of you, this may be uh, the perfect website just to play with at home and to do some things with. Uh, for others, it may be a little too simple. Like I said, you can edit everything in here and uh, have some fun doing that. Uh, but at least that gives you an idea of how the service works. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.